What's going on YouTube? GS Norwich here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the Electra jailbreak that might come soon for the iOS 12. We're going to talk about my jailbreak, Osiris jailbreak, which is basically coming soon. I'm working on it and we're going to also discuss about Cilio. So I'm going to start with the Electra. So you probably know that Sorik posted just two days ago this whole wall of text in here in which he basically said that he's not planning to update the uh, substrate, a very important component for jailbreaking anytime soon. And of course, without Substrate, we do not have tweaks. We cannot install the tweaks, we cannot run the tweaks, and that's very important for many, many people. For me personally, that's not very important. I care more about the Unix binaries and doing research on the device, but many people like to tweak their device and a substrate is definitely necessary for that. So you probably remember that we were waiting for this substrate to be updated by Soric in Uncover in order to get Uncover working on A12 devices, but it doesn't stop on A12 devices. Since Soric made it very clear that he never worked on this substrate more than three days and there's a possibility he may not update it for future jailbreaks either, so we have to move on. And of course we can move on to Substitute by Comics, which is unfortunately less updated because we used to rely on Soric's Substrate for quite a lot of time. There were only a few jailbreaks to not incorporate the uh, Substrate and rather to use the Substitute by Comics. So most of the jailbreaks in the history used Soric's creation, the Substrate, and now that it's gone we have to move on. Now the Uncover will very likely be updated with Substitute, which as I said in my video requires a ton of work, but it turns out that that ton of work was already being done in the background by Coolstar and his team, the Electra team. He said, quote, the Electra team maintains a private fork of the substitute that is updated for the iOS 12 and A12. We have made sure not to rely on third-party closed source software in our jailbreak to make sure updates are sustainable. More details soon. So the Electra team already has updated the uh, substitute to make it better for the A12 devices and for the iOS 12. However, it's not released yet and we do not know when they're going to release it if ever but the uh, Cilio is also part of the Electra you probably know when it comes out and if it comes out you're probably going to have to install Cilio as well I'm not entirely sure how much will Cydia survive on the Electra since Cydia is really not part of their ecosystem that's why they built Cilio which is basically a modern alternative to the aging Cydia currently Cilio is at 0.8 beta 11 and you can download it already if you have the Electra jailbreak but I'm also updating my jailbreak the Osiris jailbreak in here to make basically work fine on iOS 12 and give you SSH and all that jazz, but at this point I'm basically moving on from chilling and I'm doing manual patches as you can see from here, for example for getting root and escaping sandbox and all that stuff, all the patches are manual, I'm no longer relying on chilling because it's closed source and every time I have to do some modifications I have to go through Jonathan Levin, I have to basically tell him I would like to modify that or that or I would like that added, which of course takes him time and I don't like to bother somebody to do something for me. So the best approach for my jailbreak was to basically ditch chilling completely and start building my own patches and um, this way I'm basically able to update a jailbreak at any moment. So yeah, there's the Uncover that will be updated for the A12 devices, there is the Electra that will be updated for the A12 devices and very likely I'm going to update Osiris, my jailbreak as well, so stay tuned and check them out. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.